in today's video I'm going to discuss two issues that can cause you to have a problem getting your vehicle out of park and into drive. I'm going to show uh, the two different issues on two different vehicles. Uh, the I'm not going to go into the real details of fixing these. I just want to show you how to basically kind of sectionalize a little bit. These methods are very common on almost all vehicles, the setup. So we're going to start by talking a little bit about the process we go to, through before we put our transmission into drive. If you think about it, to put your transmission into drive, you have to put your foot on the brake, like so. So this tells us there is a sensor between the brake and the shift lever for your vehicle. So right now the vehicle is running, obviously. I put my foot in the brake, I take my gear shift, and try to slide it into drive and it won't go. Now in this case there is a cable that goes, well there's always going to be a cable of some form that will go between your shift lever and the transmission. I had lift, I had jacked up this vehicle, I checked that that linkage was all fine. So that brought me to the point of is there a problem in this vehicle where the sensor that knows my foot is on the brake has an issue. And this is, you can see obviously I took the console portion off of here and, and this is how I sectionalized it. So you can see this white piece here, I'm going to move this over, you can see a cable right there. And this, on this particular vehicle, is how the transmission and the brake are linked together. So know that your foot is on the brake. I had to move the camera to try to get an angle where you can see something here anyway. Okay, put my foot in the brake, try to put it into, into gear, won't go. That's the attachment for the braided cable there, the cable we're talking about that's connect, that senses whether the brake is open. Hold that, now you can see it slips right into gear. So the issue is the adjustment on that cable. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you how I do that. This is just kind of an informational thing anyway. Just to give you the idea that if you have a problem like this, it may not be a catastrophic problem. It could be an easy fix like this. I just gonna adjust that cable. Cables, I have no pressure on the cable. I haven't adjusted, doesn't go in. You get the idea. Now I'm going to discuss the second issue that's an easy fix, relatively cheap fix that could potentially be causing you problems as far as the transmission goes. I'm in my old work van. I had this thing for over five years. I spent 600 bucks on it. And the reason I got it so cheap was because when I bought it, it was really difficult to get it in gear. Um, like I would take the gear shift and I would have to go like this, like so much to the point that I was afraid I was going to... Um, break the gear shift here. Now I, what I did was I took it for a test drive and here's a good thing to kind of keep in mind to, to, for general troubleshooting purposes. If you if you get your vehicle in drive and you take it, uh, accelerate fairly quickly and it's going through the gears nice and smoothly as this vehicle was when I went to buy it from the guy, it was a pretty good chance that the transmission itself wasn't going to be a problem because if you got transmission problems that can be very expensive so it was just getting the unit in gear so i'm going to just start this up now what would happen right now the reverse neutral drive goes right through now as i mentioned what would happen when I was trying to get it in, I was figuring, well, it's the cable that goes from, you know, our gear shift here to the transmission. And I'm going to put the camera outside and I'm going to show you where that cable ends because the cable could have been corroded or gummed up at um, uh, uh, one end or the other. And I'm going to go show you outside where that connects onto the 
the the cable um, connect out there, and that was actually the issue. So what you saw there was me putting the transmission in every gear. So you would have noticed this cable here moving. And this is the train called the transmission rain sensor. It might be called something different in your vehicle, but you get the basic idea. This cable forces act this actuator to change its position and the transmission knows what gear you're in going from this. Now the problem I had, for about a year I just drove it and it was very difficult to get into gear but eventually what happened was as this deteriorated I was driving it and it happened to my son too and it happened to me once also um, the vehicle it, it was like almost stalling and run really rough and what had happened was this had had become so gummed up and effective that the transmit the vehicle didn't know what gear it was in, so it started to to go between gears. Uh, now this was a cheap fix. Uh, that was I'm gonna say four years ago. This was I think uh, less than fifty dollars Canadian at that time. And the good thing about this problem is this will send a code. So if you have a code reader, and I, I have videos, I have a video on a code reader, you'll put it on your on your vehicle and you'll, it'll actually send you a code that you can read. And I get some uh, comments sometimes, people think I sell these things, I do not. But if you have a vehicle that's old enough that you can get a manual on it, big help. Uh, anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.